Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to Control on Play. That was a fun one. Uh, welcome back, though. We've got a lot more floors to investigate out here. I think. Not in there. Jeez. That place sucked. Maybe the other side. Maybe there's a traffic light on the other side. We just have to find a traffic light. That's really all. And if we can just find a traffic light, we can be on our way. Hello? There doesn't seem to be anything on this side <laughs> when I keep floating over here. Let's go up to floor three. This has been great. Not like a single interruption so far. Thanks, Hiss. After last episode, really seemed like Hiss interruptions. We're going to be a full-time thing out here. Okay, so... Uh, which side do we want to visit here? Let's start with this, though I don't think it's going to be anything. Nope, nope, I feel like this is just an elevator shaft. Which I guess I could jump into, but I don't want to float all the way back to the bottom. After all of my hard work. Okay. Let's go across. Pardon me. And see what's lurking. Anything good? Surfboard? Nothing? The anchor. Oh. What are you doing in here? I thought... You know what? Not gonna worry about it. Um... Can't get in there. Was this the... The fridge room? I don't think so. Looks like nothing. Let's move on. Um... Nothing over there, probably... I guess I should keep checking, but it keeps on being nothing. When I float over to these side rooms. Yeah, see? Meh. Okay. Fourth floor. And then fifth, and then... Goodness, there's a lot more to this than I... remembered seeing before. I guess because I couldn't fly up to it at the time. No, I can! Whee! And there's that interruption. You know, we were overdue. There we go. Hiss, have any of you seen a traffic light? You look tough. Don't love that. Die faster, please. You, go explode him, okay? Thank you. Ow. That hurt a lot. I just want to find a traffic light. Yeah. What? Why do y'all care so much about me finding traffic lights? I demand to know. Stop trying to hurl things at me. That's my thing. You can't have it. Works pretty good. Stop it. Boy. Huh. Boy, full up on mods again already. Happens so fast. I'm going to go ahead and delete some. Yeah, the weapon mods especially, they fill up so quick. Hang on. There we go, okay. Now, back to this distraction. Do you mind? Hey. 
Hiss if you don't know where the traffic lights are. Then don't bother me. So that... If I am remembering correctly... Is... What is this way? The traffic light. Yes. Must be one of the missing altered items. Yes. I need to play red light, green light, don't I? <laughs> I bet that is the case. Oh, I moved. <laughs> Wait, how did I get back here? That's great. There's just a tiny bit of drift on this uh, gamepad's control stick, which is not going to help with this. But I'll do my best. I really should replace this uh, 360 style gamepad for one of the newer Xbox One or Series X pads, but uh, I don't know, that 360 pad just feels really good in the hands. Hey! Traffic light, no. Can I just go now or... Uh, cool. This is a fun one, though. I like it. And I also love the swirly holes they make. Okay. <laughs> Gonna get ya. Oh, you are mine. Gotcha. Less escaped altered item to worry about. Nice. Oh, that was worth it. I, I gotta find the other escaped altered items if they're all gonna be that fun. Good times. We just got a thing, didn't we? I think we did. Yeah. Uh, a red light altered item 49KE. The object's effect is subdued by exposure to sunlight. A traffic light with three distinct lights arranged vertically on each of its four sides. From top to bottom, the lights shine red, yellow, and green. A popular children's game, see CBA 316 for details, is believed to be integral in the manifestation of this item and its effect. If an entity approaches the item while its red light is activated, they will be instantaneously relocated a distance of redacted from the item. Note, theories that the item is shifting people to a former timeline or parallel universe have been explored and dismissed. The item was discovered after a street light at an intersection near the elementary school began shifting people away from itself after sunset. A local panic brought the case to the attention of the Bureau. The item was contained, and a gas leak was blamed for this confusion in the townspeople's perception. Ah, <laughs> uh, the old gas leak trick. Alright, let me get back to a control point. And then let's, uh... Oh, I don't know, should I keep on... I feel like I could spend a long time trying to navigate all the floors of the... Panopticon, but maybe that's a good reason to just go ahead and kind of do it now. I imagine you could spend a very long time... Uh... Ah, eh, shoot. You could spend a very long time playing Control. Because there's a lot of spaces that you can explore to a pretty thorough degree, it seems like. And maybe this is the highest I can get, actually. I don't know if I have a means of jumping myself up there. Might not. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, like, see a thing I can jump to. 
So yeah, we might have actually hit our limit already on this one. Hiss, chill. Go on. The only other thing I could think to check is maybe... Maybe something like this. And... Hmm, okay. That didn't work. Nope. Alright. Can't go higher inside there. Can I... Mm, nope. Seems like no. I don't think this is going to do anything. Ah, shoot. I think the only way I'm going to get up there is... I guess via a different entrance, maybe. Or maybe you just can't get up there. I don't know. Whatever. I'm finding a control point and getting the heck out of here. We're going to find more altered items that ran away. Okay. Fast travel. Oh, apparently I did one of these. Cool. Uh... Collect. Thank you. Um, kill. I mean, I'm not using spin, so neither of these. Thanks. Cool. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, fast travel. What should our next stop be? Medical wing? Could be medical wing. What's the closest to medical wing? I feel like maybe logistics. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All righty. Medical is not too far from here. Yes, okay, cool. Downstairs, through here. And we're looking for the hand chair, whatever that is. Get out of here. Where's the Healy Ball? It's around here somewhere. The heck? Oh, that might be the hand chair. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah. Dislike. Let me deal with the rest of the hiss real quick, and then we'll, um... Contend with that. Get out of here. Uh... Healy Ball? You in here? Go on. Or is the hand chair really the source of the problem? The heck was that? Oh, is it just me standing near that that's causing the problem? Well, I'll try to declutter the place best I can. Chill. Uh. That stuff's growing back, isn't it? I think it is. Maybe I have to delete it all real fast. Back to back. Got one. And in here. Two. And... Come on. Three? Did that do it? Hey. Hand chair. Quit it. Chill, huh? Weirdo. Easy peasy. Weirdo chair. Anyway. Uh, okay. That one was much simpler. Last one's in dead letters, my favorite place. And we're off. Alright, here we That's are. No normal piece of paper. Wait, where? Yeah, that doesn't look very normal. Um... Ah, shoot. Go away. Go away. Hey. Hey! That was a missile. I have made my feelings about missiles entirely too clear. Hey. Also not a fan of bullets. Get out of here. And you. 
<laughs> I should use that more often. You don't mind. Got stuff to do. This weird paper is not going to investigate itself. Obviously. I feel like you don't need me to explain that. We good? Hey. Hey. Do you mind? We good? Great. Paper. What's going on with you? Huh. Feeling a bit of a rascal today, are we? Hmm. <laughs> it's interesting. Gotcha. Ah. Oh. Huh. Huh. There we go. Just had to keep trying. I need to find the other pages. Wait, those other ones? All right. Uh. Well, they're all around here, so let's keep uh poking around. Come on, paper. Where are you? Uh, maybe if we start ascending a little bit. Don't know if I can get myself up here, but if possible, yeah. Heck yeah. There's probably more stuff to find up here, too. Paper, do you think you can be cool? Nope. Paper, come on. Paper. Paper. Be reasonable. Huh, what's this? Dear elected official, thanks to the recent smoking ban in my state, I'm happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in the next election. As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because the smoke is toxic to the aliens that the government sold our planet to in a secret deal. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air would be poison to them. If you government traders can't stop people from smoking, then you won't get your millions of dollars from the aliens. I have a website. People know what's going on. We're going to keep smoking no matter what. This is a national emergency. Politicians are handing the planet over to alien overlords. We won't let you. We will resist. I will smoke forever. Signed, a proud smoker slash rebel slash patriot. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, I also saw another thing. Uh, here. Ah, yes. The human hand chair. Why would you get this for any place? Altered item 63KE. Item must be kept in isolation, removed from other unsecured objects. Under no circumstances is the item to be sat in. A plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms a seat with the fingers acting as the chair's back. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of redacted. Its fingers have also been observed to change position, though too quickly to be witnessed or filmed. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. Sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic material. Lovely. Found in a warehouse at Redacted, Albany, a team of ranger trainees accompanied by an experienced field agent were dispatched to investigate local rumors when they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved the item. See it for blah 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 for details. This game's fun. Now, paper. 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 All right. You're going to be back here in a second. And when you are... You will be collected. Gotcha. I've got you all figured out, paper. Should be one more page. Okay. Let's find that last one. Libyan. Uh, ooh. The most important paper. Dear gentlemen of the Society of Sciences, it has been some time since I sent my initial letter. I hope it is not the case that you have dismissed my claims outright. 
In that hope, I am writing you once more to ask for your help in understanding the oddity that has befallen me in my home. I have recently begun renting a new apartment in the city. The space is nothing special, though for a time I found the isolation quite soothing. Recently, I have begun experiencing a strange occurrence. When I'm in my kitchen, a tiny little thing with not much but a sink, I sometimes lose myself. My surroundings change. I find myself standing on strange dark stone. I stare out at a colorless sky, as white as undisturbed snow, terrified of moving. Perhaps this is a brain issue? I think not, as it feels terribly real. This has been occurring for some months now, and I have become frightened of entering the kitchen. If it's not too much of an inconvenience, I would dearly appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see what they make of it. I await your response with little expectation, but with great hope. Very truly yours, Lorraine Fitzgerald. So that one's kind of... real? Sounded like she was going to the astral plane. Whenever she went to her little kitchen. I do hope she was assisted. Alright, what else? Okay, what? Huh. Oh, is it a radio? Is it a radio on a little janitor cart? Was it Ati singing? I really should stop to see Ati one of these episodes. Maybe at the end of this one. Even though I suspect he'll just give us more busy work. If he's even there. Um... I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a etc. 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 One redacted line. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Because I bet it said something somewhat different. What? Oh, that was just a little rendering error, I think. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Anything else on this floor? Doesn't look like it. I had not realized before how very tall Dead Letters is. Paper's raining a bit, so... I suspect the last page is near. Yep. Hi, Paper. Wait your turn. Hey. You have questions, and the prophets have your answer. If you are truly intrigued, watch the time. We've lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days, this is why the Vatican is a sundial and also simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing while I'm here, if you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun and moon are composed of plasma, simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you, I, and humanity reside. Cheers. <laughs> uh... These are fun to read. The individuals, I'm sure, would be quite obnoxious to deal with. Well, if you're just gonna come right back here, Paper, I don't mind that one bit. No, you keep darting around. There you are. You're too predictable, Paper. Done and done. Boom! Langston! I've done it! Uh, moving letters. Altered item 77. Uh, black rock paneling suppresses the item's effect. That's good to know. A stack of four envelopes, each containing a single page of paper. All four letters are illegible due to extreme water damage. The envelopes, curiously, do not show any signs of such damage and are covered in messages of love. The items are able to move short distances at a pace of less than redacted and always in a redacted direction. This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts, a fact previously believed to be an impossibility by Redacted. A proposal to take the items outside the oldest house and follow their movement to its final destination is under consideration with the budget committee. Uh, items was found in the Dead Letter archives, where the herd archivist found it attempting to escape a filing cabinet. She reports having no record of the items in her archive of letters. Oh, these are fun. But all right, let's get back and see the Langston. Actually, no, let's... Uh, finish perusing this space as long as we're here. Let's be efficient. Woo. A lot of letters and mail in the elevator. 
Anything else good? Yes. To the esteemed members of the American Psychiatric Council, I'm writing to inquire about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health. I'm aware that there are many books purporting to contain the true meanings of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not usually done, but if I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. Ever since I was young, I have had intensely vivid dreams. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these feel markedly different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small, empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at its center. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Because of this recent incident, I have decided to seek help. The doctor says I am physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Yours very sincerely, Richard Bowker. Hmm. A few random... Uh... Capitalizations in there. Like condition and expertise. And maybe another one. Lake. Condition, lake, expertise. It feels like there's some very interesting hint in that, but I did not feel like digging into it. Right now. Right now, I feel like going and seeing a Langston. To report our very good work. Uh, here we go. Whee! Okay. Let's travel to containment and... Was it Transit Corridor? No, it was Panopticon. Here we go. Langston! I've done it! You'll be so very excited so to hear. Breach. I guess life's a breach, huh? <laughs> I'm funny. Hi, Langston. I found all those missing altered items. All of them? Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. But those weren't all of the altered items missing from the Panopticon. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. How many of these things did he lose? How many? Just a couple. Should be no problem for you. I really appreciate your help. Really. Just. Super. Hmm. Uh, well, thanks for the ability points. Uh... These are all new, yeah? Let's hear your thoughts. Do you often see people with abilities like mine? We have some paranaturally inclined agents at the Bureau. Nothing as impressive as you, though. Of course, we did have your brother here. He got a special cell up top. Darling put his own people in charge. Like, I couldn't be trusted. I couldn't even get into the room. In my own panopticon. Ah! Oh, I tell you, the way that Darling runs things, there ought to be an investigation. Anyway. What were we talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. An investigation probably is actually merited, given what all's been going on and how much he seemed to know. I'd very much like to find that individual. Do you know anything about an object of power called the slide projector? Doesn't ring a bell, but Trench's chosen few never tell me anything. Not that I'm complaining. The inner circle works non-stop. I'm pretty sure Darling sleeps under his desk. No, thank you. I have a cat to feed. I hope Blankston's got a pet sitter. Uh, altered world events. Have you ever seen an AWE? Not out in the field. The AWEs are just altered items doing their thing. The Bureau goes in, locks everything down, and then they bring me back some clock or a gumball machine that made the town blind or something. Just like an ordinary, with the slide projector. And Marshall. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall's nice enough. A little too special ops for me. Solves everything with a bullet. Respect and ritual will placate altered items better than any gun. How's that? Some people believe altered items are conduits to extra-dimensional forces which require ritualistic worship to be appeased. It's just a theory I heard. I don't know much about it. I feel like he's a few minutes away from a rant about Elder Gods and Blood Rites. 
I would enjoy that rant. Anyway. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Fantastic. Uh, so... Alright, so we just got a new mission from him, which I don't really feel like doing right now. How important are these things? Are they just kind of like side, fun stuff to do? Uh, cleanse and contain the flamingo, the mannequin, and the rubber duck. This does really seem fun. Uh, we might have to do some of that later. Before we wrap up for today, though, I want to... Uh, I want to go see Ati. See if Ati has any more busy work for us, and then maybe we'll get all of this nonsense knocked out and then finally get back to, uh, to doing things later. Uh, all right, let me, uh, head down to visit the janitor. Ati! Oh, hey. I got allies here. That's a nice, fun change. Hey, uh, Cho. Chill. Oh. Nice. I should find the others. Yeah, maybe that's kind of a sign I shouldn't be going and chasing down all of these things right now. Maybe I should run into a lot of them as I find them while I'm doing other tasks. And uh, as we get kind of toward the end of the game, if I feel like going and doing a bunch of the side stuff, then I can. Maybe that's a better way to go about it, because it does seem like we double back from time to time anyway. Maybe that's just a better way to do things. Ati? Oh, that's right. Here you go. Are you in here? You certainly are. Whoa, hey! What the heck is all that? Don't feel like talking, huh? All right. Gracious. What a mess. Talk to the plants. They are very good listeners. You can tell them anything. Or you can sing to them. They like that. All right, let's take all these jobs. You need to scrap that clean or there goes my reputation and honor. And then the good won't swing. I've been working on the mold, but... It's back. What would kill a bad thing? Paska, mikä paska. Auntie, I didn't think you'd have this much work for me. <laughs> More of it. This thing is completely leaving from the mitten. Perkele. Saatana. Helvetin helvetti. Oma tuossa ja tällaista paskaa. I'm sure that was pretty colorful. It's nice seeing you, Ati. I thought you might have some, like, actual dialogue for me, though, or something. That's fine. It was good to see you again. Uh, and apparently, you had a lot of chores for me. Good gracious, let's... Just look at the mission list now. Uh, so the main thing to go find the slide projector in dimensional research. Uh, more runaways for Langston that are all over the place. Uh, more of Arisha's friends. Locate the mirror. That one seems important. Also that elevator. Eradicate the mold hosts around various places. Uh, talk to the plants in central research. Uh, eradicate mold growths in the containment sector. Clear the clog from the pump station again, I guess. And mold growths in the maintenance sector. Yeah, a lot of this stuff seems like stuff I can just be kind of taking care of on the side as we go. But uh, yeah, when we come back next week, let's start by doing the mirror and the sector elevator thing. And uh, then we'll maybe move on with the main story stuff. Sound good? All right, cool. Let me, uh, let me get back to that control button. Did I not go in here? Maybe I didn't. Huh. So many nooks and crannies in this huge building. It's just dense with stuff and fun little corners to find. It's really great. What a good video game. Uh, ow. <sighs> What a find.
drawing the pyramid. The what? The pyramid. What's a pyramid? The black pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? It's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. What is my home? Who wrote this? Well, glad we found that. Um, Ati, I'm lost. How do we get out? Oh, wait. This looks... Uh... Promising? Prom yes, here we are. All right. Almost there again. Yeah, here we go. All right, fantastic. Good work, y'all. Thanks for the assistance. And y'all out there... Take care, and I will see you on Monday for some more control. This should be fun. Take care, and goodbye! Eh, a little less than I hoped. Whatever. See you later.